Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry with the One Stroke Painting Technique, and I'm here to talk to you about folk art paint. I want you to know our acrylic folk art paint and our enamels folk art paint are two wonderful paints that I just am passionate about. So let me share with you, we can paint with acrylic folk art paint many, many surfaces. That's all I ever had in the beginning. So I'm from wood, paper mache, metal. I want you to know outdoors, indoors. Sometimes you might have to seal them with a different um, sealer, and sometimes you don't have to seal it at all. But I want you to see here, I use the enamel for this inside piece on the glass. So I used acrylic and then enamel, which I thought was a real fun project with my little granddaughter here. But I want you to get excited. The enamel paints are creamy consistency. They have a very good coverage. You can bake them in the oven and put them in the top rack of the dishwasher. And it's just really durable. And it's got the consistency of like shaving cream. So I love that creamy consistency. And decorative painters love it. So when we're talking about our acrylic paint, I want to show you that I paint this on walls. I paint on paper. There's many things you can paint it on. And some of the tools that we use for that, I might put a foam plate right into my palette. I have a notch here fixed so the paper towels will go here. And you, when you're standing up, you don't have to hold it in your hand and grip it. I've got this double loader that fits in here. And the double loader makes a huge difference on people being able to double load their, their paint colors. One stroke painting means you blend, shade, and highlight in each stroke, and that happens by double loading or multi-loading. This lid will go on there. You wet the sponge, you cover the lid, and you can put this over your double loader, and what happens is that the paint won't dry out if you have to run an errand or something or you haven't used all your paint. So what I want to show you is how to double load this brush. And these are my standard brushes, but you can get a value pack of very good quality brushes, and you need a very good flat brush. And that's what we have here. And my bristles are longer and a little less thick so that when we're, we're pushing and wiggling, they spring back up and give us the technique we're looking for. We're going to take and go right between these two colors. And I want you to see that even if you don't even blend this in and you come over here as a newbie and just stroke, you can still see blending and shading. But if we take and come over here and pick up paint, which I do almost every stroke of my flower, and you work it in here, it goes into the bristles, and we've got plenty of bristles to hold it, which makes it really nice. And I want you to see this rose I've done is one petal at a time. Now see that blending, shading, and highlighting? This happens literally by going one, two, three, wiggle, and, and slide, all right? We're, we're getting the wiggle going, and we're pulling. It's kind of like we're scrubbing, watch this, we're scrubbing a spot in the floor, and we pull. Now the beauty about the paint that I want to show you here about the folk art paint is that, that it's got creamy consistency so it doesn't have to, it's not thin, you don't have to let it dry before you put the next stroke so we're doing wet on wet and you can't do that with just any paint so that's going to be the joy of that. And see how I'm just putting one color on top of the other and the dark richness is in the middle so it's kind of like oils, you can, looks like it's got depth, really strong brilliant colors when you're painting. And then you're doing the same thing with the green. We're going to just pick up the same stroke, and we're going to come right in here and watch this leaf. One, two, three. Whoops. Right, let me turn it the other way. One, two, three. We're going to wiggle. Same thing as the rose petal. Pick up more paint right here. Wiggle. See the seashell that we just did for the petal? And then we come to a point, and there we go. So. I want you to jump in, paint with some enamels, paint with some acrylic folk art paint, and have a good time creating.